One way of making your Elementor web pages even more engaging is by embedding your YouTube videos to your website. In this video, I'll show you how to embed your YouTube playlist onto your Elementor web pages in beautiful feeds like this. If you're ready, let's get started. To add our YouTube playlist onto Elementor, we'll use the Smash Balloon YouTube Feed Pro plugin. The plugin lets you create beautiful and engaging YouTube feeds for your WordPress website in just a matter of minutes and without any coding. To purchase the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com and once purchased, you can find the download link and license key for YouTube Feed Pro inside your Smash Balloon account. Download the zip file for YouTube Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Then hover over Plugins and click on Add New. Next, click on Upload Plugin at the top. Then upload the zip file that you just downloaded and click on Install Now. Once installed, go and activate the plugin. And there we go, our plugin has now been installed and activated. Before we can go and add a YouTube feed onto Elementor, we have to first activate the license key for the plugin. You'll now notice YouTube feed on the left hand side. Hover over it and click on Settings. Go ahead and paste the license key from smashballoon.com over here, like this, and click on Activate. And now our license key has been activated and we can create our first YouTube feed. Under YouTube feed on the left hand side, click on All Feeds. Next, go and click on Add New at the top. YouTube Feed Pro lets you create several different types of feeds for your WordPress website. You can create a feed of videos from any YouTube channel, a feed of videos from any YouTube playlist, a feed of videos that you've favorited, and more below. For this video, we're going to create a feed of videos from a YouTube playlist. So we can select Playlist over here and click on Next. Now it's asking us to enter our YouTube API key. I've already got my YouTube API key ready, but if you want to learn how to create your own YouTube API key, you can check out the video tutorial that we've created on the top right corner of your screen or in the description of this video. Once you have your API key, you can copy it, paste it here, and then click on Add. And once again, we can go and click on Next. And on this step, we'll have to enter our playlist ID. And on my screen right now, you can see the YouTube playlist that I want to display on my website. You can find your playlist ID inside the URL of that playlist. The playlist ID starts after PL. So you can copy the text like this and paste it in this box like this. And there we go. We've now entered the playlist ID, so we can go and click on Next. And now you can select the template for the appearance of your YouTube feed. You have options like the default, carousel, cards, list, gallery, and more. You can select the one you like the most like this. For this video, we're going to go with the cards template and click on Next. And straight away, you'll see a beautiful preview of your new YouTube playlist feed. All the videos from our YouTube playlist are displayed in this beautiful cards layout that we see here. Before I show you how to embed this onto our WordPress website, let me show you how we can customize the feed to really make it your own. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout. Inside, you'll find many options to modify the layout of your feed. Under Layout, you can find four different layouts you can choose from. Currently, we've got the grid layout selected, which shows all our videos in rows and columns like this. Next, you can go for the gallery layout, which shows your latest video in a larger view like this, followed by the rest of the videos in your playlist below. And next, we have a list layout, which shows all of your videos in a beautiful single column list like this. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, which shows all your videos from your playlist inside a swipeable carousel like this. Once you're happy with the layout of your YouTube feed, go and click on Save on the top right corner. With YouTube Feed Pro, you can also customize the header of your YouTube playlist feed. Go into Header on the left-hand side. You can choose from either a standard or text header. Currently, we've got the text header selected, and you can customize the header text down here. Alternatively, you can go with the standard header like this. And if you'd like to disable the header entirely, you can go and disable it by toggling this off like this. And once again, if you make any changes, go and click on Save on the top right corner. And you might have noticed at the bottom of our feed, we have a Subscribe button. This button is customizable as well. On the left hand side, click on Subscribe button. Here you can choose to disable or enable the button, modify the button ticks, and also select the colors for that button as well. If you make any changes, remember to hit Save on the top right corner. With YouTube Feed Pro, we want to make sure you look your best across all devices. That's why we've included buttons to preview how your feed will look like on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. And finally, we're ready to embed our YouTube playlist inside Elementor. To embed our feed, go and click on Embed on the top right corner. Here, you'll find a dedicated shortcode for your YouTube feed. You can copy it and then click on Add to a page. Now, you can select the page you want to add your feed to and click on Add. And on your page, go and click on Edit with Elementor. And here we are inside Elementor. And to add our YouTube playlist feed inside our page, go and search for the shortcode widget over here. And this is the one we want. We can drag it and drop it inside like this. And now we can paste our shortcode that we copied earlier like this. And there we go. Our YouTube feed has now been added inside Elementor so we can publish our page and check out what it looks like on the front end of our website. And now on our live website, if I scroll down below, you can find the section for our YouTube videos. And right here, we have our brand new, beautiful YouTube playlist feed showing all the latest videos from our YouTube playlist in this amazing carousel layout that we selected inside the plugin. And that's how you add your YouTube playlist feed to Elementor. If you have any questions about what we covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. 
If you have any technical issues with the plugin, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.